Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a horizontal box plot of a single variable using Microsoft Excel. Uh, this is version 2 where I'm using a scatter plot, um, which is different from version 1 for which I have a separate video where I actually combining a small scatter plot, uh, plot for the outliers and a stack bar chart with error bars for the uh, whiskers. So if you want that one, you can have a look there. The advantage of this method is that it can color the box. While in version 2, the one I'm going to show here, you can't because it's actually sneakily a scatter plot. Um, uh, unfortunately, uh, you also might want to have to be sure that you want a horizontal one because to create a vertical box plot with Excel is a lot easier and I'm still confused why uh, Excel just hasn't made an easy way to actually create a horizontal box plot. Anyway, uh, let's dive in. Uh, this is actually an image of the one that we're going to create. That's why I can simply rotate it like that. But fortunately with charts, that's not possible. All right, um, I need the first and third quartile. So my data is in column A. Uh, to make things worse, I even have negative values. So we're going to see how we can also deal with that. Um, with the quartile, um, there are a few different options. I'm going to use the included one. Um, not really sure why, but uh, it works. Um, there is a small difference. So um, Google on this. Uh, I'll probably add some more info on the difference uh, later. Um, but okay, I'm just going to use it uh, included, and the other one is A, and then of course the third one. I'm using a semicolon system to separate parameters. You might have to use a comma depending on your settings. The interquartile range is then the difference between the third quartile and the first quartile. So 7 minus minus 6 should become 7 plus 6 equals 13. To decide on what's an outlier, I'll use a factor of 1.5. So you can change that if you like. And then the start of the whiskers. So uh, over here, the start should be... Uh, the minimum uh, of those who are not outliers. So we can't just use min, we need to use min ifs. Uh, min ifs, I select the range, which is A. Um, then the criteria range is also actually A. And then the value needs to be at least, uh, so greater than or equal to. And then I can say, well, uh, it needs to be at least greater than or equal to the first quartile minus uh, the interquartile range multiplied with the outlier factor. All right, and that gives us the minus 10, which we also had here. The box, the box starts at the first box at the first quartile. So I can simply say that's going to be that one. Um, the second box starts at the so-called median, so equals median of all my data and then the second uh, uh, whisker the last whisker the positive ones well actually that this could also be positive but on the upper end uh, that actually starts at as you can see the third quartile so that's going to be that one and the endpoint uh, of that whisker we also will be needing. So uh, similar as with the starting point for the first whisker, this uh, is not simply the maximum, it's the maximum excluding outliers. So max ifs uh, AA, semicolon, A to A, semicolon. And now it should be uh, less than or equal to, and then end. Uh, the third quartile plus now the interquartile range multiplied with the outlier factor. Great. All right. So uh, I'm going to be using as a uh, whisker height uh, the uh, one and the box height uh, twice as uh, high. Um, and the next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to somewhat draw the whole box and whisker part. So the left whisker, uh, we can say, well, that's going to start at our starting point. So that's going to be uh, minus 10. And the height should be, well, um, it's actually going to be the, the starting point is going to be, 
well my uh, whisker height which uh, sorry the uh, the box height divided by uh, 2 and then we're going to add the whisker height also divided by 2 and just to add one to everything so that the box plot won't be on the horizontal axis all right so now we're at uh, minus 10 and uh, 2.5 and the next one will be also at minus 10 but then instead of doing what we did earlier a plus we're going to do a minus so we're going to say well that's going to be all of this again and now we're going to say control V and instead of a plus I'm going to say well I want to do minus that one so basically we've drawn this little line now I then need to because I don't want lines to be diagonal it needs to go back up to halfway the point so what I'm going to say here is still at minus 10 it needs to go simply to the uh, box height and then in the middle of that so and add one just because we're lifting the whole thing up all right so now we're at this point right here and we need to go to the right so and when we'll end up at that first quarter so I can simply say well now I want you to go to the start of box one horizontally and vertically just stay on that middle line of two all right so that draws this bit then we're going to do the whole first box so that starts still at minus uh, six and we then simply go up so that's the box height plus one because we're moving everything away from the horizontal axis so now we're here then we need to go to the right so I'm going to go to the next one which was the median which is over there and then it's going to be the same height as the previous one so that's over there so now we're at this point we go down so that's still at the median uh, and now we're simply going to go at one because that's how much I wanted it away from the horizontal axis all right then I need to go back to the left so I go back to my minus six and now the height is going to be one so basically I've drawn this 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 and I go all the way back up so it's easier to get to the next box so I'm going to stay at minus six uh, sorry that one and the height is going to be the uh, 2.5 the highest of them all so uh, otherwise it wouldn't draw this little bit so now we go to the next box which ends all the way at the uh, start of the whisker so the next one is going to be at the start of the whisker and then the height is going to be this one now I need to go all the way down so same horizontal and all the way down simply means go back to that one now I'm at this point I just need to go to the left uh, so I can say well that's going to be um, the the median again so that was one uh, I can simply refer to it back here uh, also at one and to some extent we now actually already have the box um, but just for good measure we could go back up for some reason uh, we actually don't need to do that I can just delete this uh, row um, need to unmerge this for that uh, sorry actually I can just stay there and this is box 2 all right all right so now we have the second box as well I need to go back to get to this point so oh perhaps that's why I had it in there um, uh, so I go back so the same 7 uh, equals a 1 again so now I'm moving back here I need to go a little bit up so at that 7 um, I need to go to my midway point which was the 2 and now we can actually go from uh, not to 7 but to the end point of the whisker which is at 10 and the same height 
we need to go at that whisker we need to go up equals the height of the uh, whisker so that's going to be 2.5 um, and we need to go down equals again that one and this is going to be uh, 1.5 Alright, uh, I notice my box should not be at 2.5, it should actually simply be at 3, so I need to change this one to a 3, and now hopefully everything is fine. Alright, uh, let's see if it worked, because we can simply select all of these points now, and go for insert, and say a scatter, and we want a scatter uh, with straight lines, and this looks exactly the way we wanted it. So, this already looks like a quite decent box plot. We of course don't need to see a horizontal uh, line. I'll leave it in for just now, but uh, we can get rid of it. Uh, the next thing is actually we need the uh, outlier. So, what we could do is we could first say, well, the Y value for my outliers is going to be in column C. And the X value is going to be in column B. I'm first going to do the Y value. I'm going to say... Um, if this value is uh, less than the first quartile, I need to fix that, F4, puts dollar sign so that when you copy paste it doesn't change, minus the interquartile range, F4 again, times the outlier vector, F4 again, then I want you to show a um, the value that we actually are using for the middle, which is uh, the 2 in this case, F4. Otherwise, I want you to show minus 1 as the height. Then, um, so that's um, for that. That will actually only check if it's a lower one, so what I could do is I can copy all this, um, like uh, that. Control C, and I can say OR in front of it. So all of this, semicolon, OR, close the parentheses. So OR if this one is greater than, and then it's not G6 but G7, the third quartile, plus all of that. Alright, and I can simply copy paste this down. Uh, auto fill handle, there we go. So, as you might notice, it nicely spot that minus 35 and 40 are indeed outliers, and the minus 30 as well. Now, here I can simply say equals uh, if this one uh, is unequal to uh, minus 1, then simply show me that value, and otherwise just show 0. Right, and copy paste all of this uh, down. Alright, so what we're going to do is we have our chart. I'll bring it a little bit higher up because we don't need to do any more calculations. And I can uh, right click on it and say select data. And I'm going to add a new series. I don't need to actually give it a name, but the x values are in column B and the Y values are in column C. Alright, and if I now click on OK, and OK again, it takes a little while because it's doing some calculations. Uh, you might notice it's drawing this weird looking uh, uh, triangle, but that's because it's added it the same way. I can right click on this change series chart type, and for series 2, I don't want to scatter with straight lines, I just want to scatter without anything else. So now it should adapt to showing only the points. Now you might notice here there is this uh, minus 1, that's all of those points that aren't outliers. So I can double click on this, on the vertical axis, and say well I just want to have a minimum value of 0. There we go. 
and now it won't show that one anymore. I can then actually choose to hide this whole axis, so add chart element uh, axis and say well I don't want to see the vertical axis and there we go so that is and if you you can adjust it now in any way you like um, and we call this temperature it's a bit slow to recalculate everything uh, one thing you could do is um, specify the outliers yourself uh, just as a smaller list and that will actually um, make it slightly faster but this is how you could do a horizontal box plot as well using Microsoft Excel alright hope this was helpful thank you for watching